people sometimes mistake the Intermeccanica Italia Spider for an old Corvette or a classic Ferrari. And they're not even that far off because this roadster combines Italian design with American heavy metal. The Intermeccanica Italia was built between 1968 and 1970 as a coupe and convertible. It put Italian bodywork over an all-American drivetrain. The Intermeccanica Italia Spider combines the best of two worlds for a classic car. It has Italian styling designed by Franco Scaglioni, plus the power of eight hearts or eight cylinders, in this case a V8 from Ford. The Italia was built in Turin. The car maker was Intermeccanica, established in the 1950s by Frank Eisner, a Canadian with Hungarian roots. The cars he built almost always had American engineering under the hood, typically from Ford or General Motors. Frank Eisner, the boss of Intermechanica, was a real automotive jack of all trades. He had an incredible number of ideas and realized a great many of them. He was the first to build a replica of Porsche's legendary 356 Speedster. Eisner died in 2001 after a lifetime building very limited editions of unique automobiles. The Italia is a prime example. Only about 500 units were built. The car's design combines elements of the Corvette and Ferrari. It was sketched by Franco Scaglione, who also designed a number of Ferraris, elegant contours, and the unmistakable proportions of a roadster. A long hood, a low sloping windshield, and a compact muscular rear. And the sound coming out of the Ansa dual pipes is enough to make your hair stand on end. Most Italias were delivered with a three-speed automatic. Our model is equipped with a four-speed manual. A German car magazine in 1970 proved that in fourth gear the Italia could be driven at almost any speed, between 22 kilometers an hour and 220. The testers tried it out. The 5.7-liter Ford V8 has about 300 horsepower, harnessed to a car that weighs just 1,200 kilos. In the cockpit, you quickly notice the little imperfections that are common with cars made in very small editions. A small price to pay for the fun of driving this macho beast. A well-preserved Italia Spider costs about 50,000 euros. We're rolling out of town now at about 50 kilometers an hour and in third gear. When I punch the gas, it just pulls away with that typical V8 power. This is like typical V8 power. Another advantage of the American V8 is that it's totally dependable and parts are cheap and easy to find. But is it good enough to make the Italia Spider a real sports car? Or is it more of a street cruiser like a Ford Mustang? How does the Italia Spider drive? Not bad for a limited edition car. The chassis isn't very stiff and that's something you do notice. The engine is something though. You just want to give it gas and hear and feel the engine. Once you get used to that, it's a joy to drive.